backing up a bootcamp partition in macOS. I don't know about you guys, but once I get through configuring Windows on my bootcamp partition, you know, getting all the drivers, getting all the games and apps installed, all the settings changed up, I don't really want to go back through that again because it's very time consuming. So what you can do is back up your bootcamp partition using this tool right here. It is WinClone 5. This is a paid tool. The basic version costs $19.99 and it allows you to easily back up your bootcamp partition with pretty much minimal effort. Now, depending on how you plan on using this tool, there are some things you have to keep in mind. For instance, migrating from an older MacBook to the new 2016 MacBook Pro or the 2015 MacBook with the USB-C port can present some challenges. So just make sure you read up on the important tech bulletins to make sure everything will work fine for your particular use case. Now, once you have WinClone installed, I like I said, I use the basic version. You just launch the app, you click where it says clone bootcamp partition. You click save image It's going to give you some details on things you need to keep in mind, uh, such as running check disk on windows to check for errors. If that's all good, just click save and then type in the name of the image. So I'm just going to type windows 10 backup and then click save. Okay. So the backup process has started. You can see it's saving the image and depending on how large your windows installation is, how big that partition is, is how long this thing is going to take. So be prepared to wait a while. Uh, I have sped this up a little bit so that we can get through this quickly on this tutorial, but expect to wait a while as this process proceeds towards completion. And we'll speed it up a little bit faster here. Let's just get through it. Shall we? And we're almost at the end. Okay. So the image is now completed. So we can just click okay. Like that. And we can close out of wind clone. So that part is done folks. Now you see the image right there on our desktop, right where we saved it. Windows 10 backup dot wind clone. So now we can use this to restore our bootcamp partition exactly like we left it when we backed up. So let's say that you're starting from scratch and you want to restore your backed up image that you made with WinClone. We just want to go in and open up bootcamp assistant. We're going to click continue and we're going to set the partition size to at least the same size of the backup. So you want it to be at least the same size of the backup or more. We're going to use the Windows 10 ISO file. We're going to click install and it's going to go through the bootcamp installation, downloading Windows support software, etc., etc. Now, again, this is a, for instance, if you just want to restore your wind clone backup to your existing bootcamp partition, you can do that. But this is what you would do if you don't have a bootcamp partition already existing out there, or if you just want to start from scratch. All right. So we're going to put in our password. And if you want more details on bootcamp in general, make sure you watch our full video. Uh, we'll show you how to use that to install windows 10. So I put it in my password here. I'm going to click okay. We're going to reboot. But as we reboot, we want to hold down the option key because we don't want to boot into windows. We actually want to boot back into Mac OS. So we're going to select Macintosh HD. And once we boot back into Mac OS, we're going to restore the wind clone bootcamp backup image. So the first thing we want to do is go to disk utility and we want to make sure that the bootcamp partition is there, but we also want to make sure that the OS 10 reserved partition like this is not there. If it is there, you want to just right click and select unmount to unmount the OS 10 reserved. Otherwise when clone will not be able to proceed because it says, Hey, there are two bootcamp partitions out there. Please remove one before we proceed. So, now that we have verified that everything is good with our partition, we want to open up WinClone basic again. And now this time we're going to click on restore image and then click restore image below and then select our windows 10 backup WinClone image that we created earlier. So just click on that and then click where it says open. All right. Restore image to volume. So basically this is warning you if you proceed with this restore, everything on that partition is going to be deleted. You want to click windows eight or later. If you're using windows eight or later, then the restore will commence. So basically you are placing the contents of that image 
back onto the bootcamp partition. So that means that all of your settings, all of your drivers, all of your installations, all of your apps and games are going to be there waiting for you after you restore, which is great because that saves you a lot of time. The Windows installation process can be a little tedious going through all the settings, getting all your drivers downloaded, getting all your apps and games downloaded. But now it's going to be super easy thanks to WinClone. All right, so now it's completed. You want to click where it says OK, or you can click Open Startup Disk if you want to select the bootcamp partition as your startup disk, and that will just boot you into Windows. So you can do it that way if you want. And then you just click Restart, and then Restart using Windows Bootcamp. Or you can just reboot your computer, hold the Option key on your keyboard, select Windows, and boot into Windows. So this is what you look like after that restore. It's exactly how we left it, folks. And this makes it super easy to get right back into Windows, to get right back on your games. So my eGPU box works immediately and I can start gaming right out of the box, right after the restore. So ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac. Be sure to subscribe if you want more daily video content and also check out these other videos that you might enjoy.